Do y'all like my hair? Do y'all like my hair? Oh, I got my break on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Listen, I feel like right now when y'all ask me that question, just go back to go get your RN and stuff like that. Y'all, I'm so content right now. I'm so content right now. And as soon as this COVID stuff was happening, now we have a Delta variant. Why would I miss out on this next round of money? to go to school to go to school and I want y'all to know what sense does it make for me to go back to school just to be put back in debt because we know how much these programs cost we know how much these programs cost um ooh, I can't see we know how much these programs cost and um I'm telling you right now if they are not willing to pay something on my uh, RN and it's not an online or a hybrid program I'm not going I'm not going you know plus I have to go talk to another advisor because again like I said before I failed my statistics I'm not taking my stati statistics again okay I'll take my microbiology but if they say I need to take one more prereq out of their mouth the chances of me getting this little RN slim to none because I'm tired of taking prereqs. I'm telling you, I'm tired of taking prereqs. I'm not giving them a dime of my money for prereqs again except for microbiology. I'll go back and do the rest of that other stuff unless I want to advance it to my BSN because I know what it needs to be for that. But if if I hear one more pre prereq out of their mouth, it's going to be a no-go or I'm just going to find a... or I'm just going to find a, uh, a program online like you know what what was it wgu some online program that i heard around here that can accept me but like i said i'm gonna apply for all the scholarships and stuff like that and if i don't get none of that the chances of me going is slim let me tell y'all what happened before when i went back to oklahoma i ran into a classmate i think her name was <clears throat> i think her name was caitlin i was at target i came back in june and I was like, oh my God, you look so cute. Like we were just complimenting each other because we have not seen each other in a year during our class, right? And I told her what I've been through and what she's been through. And y'all, like she worked in the OR. Now the OR, they were paying her like crap. And she said, you know what? I just got so sick and fed up of the drama because there was drama in the OR. And she decided to work at, um, I think it was something that was completely different from nursing. Like, I think how she said it, maybe it was like a clothing store or something like that. But she was making way more than what she was doing as a nurse in the OR, okay? And I told her, I said, kudos to you. I said, I had to become a traveler for me to make some some money, you know, a money. You know, but I, I told her, I said, you know, everybody keeps asking me, when am I going to get my RN and everything like that? And I told her, I said, I'm not willing to go through what we went through in school like you know what we went through like me and her we had to work full time to make it through that program and she she worked harder than me she was working as soon as we got out of class she was working on the weekends because she still had her apartment and everything like that and she was like I feel the same way and she was telling me about two other classmates that she was close with and she said that they applied for the program and they didn't get in for the LP and the RN and I said what kind of what kind of BS is that like don't don't make me get into a RN and I finish these prereqs and I apply for a program and I get waitlisted. It's like it's getting ridiculous. I don't like how the schooling that comes with uh nursing in general. I don't like how hard it is to get into these programs, how hard it is to finish these prerequisites and everything. Like I'm wasting my life for nursing. I really am. I really am. Like, so now that I got my LPN, which I'm thankful I got for that because I feel like I got more help with my LPN than me pursuing my RN. My advisor helped me with so much money, you know, 
And all I had to do was like write letters of my struggles and everything like that. And not anonymous donors were giving me money, you know, gas cards. They were willing to help you out with your electric bills. We was on food stamps, y'all. Like we was on food stamps trying to make it. And you can go do that. If they know you a student and you're not getting many hours, go apply for food stamps. Like it was hard for a year. I was struggling, crying in my room, crying in my bathroom. And now I'm at a point in my life where I'm still trying to pick up all those pieces that I left. Like I felt like a part of me, my soul, went with that LPN program in exchange for money. You hear what I'm saying? Like we all look different. I never even told y'all when I was graduate, well, going to my graduation, I really didn't even want to go to my own graduation walk because that's how tired I was. And I said to Shayla, do I really want to go through that again? (laughs) Do I really want to go through that again? Like me and that girl was in Target for 30 minutes just talking and she was like, you know, I don't think this is just what I want to pursue anymore. Like, why is it a year and a half later? Yeah, a year and a half later and we still tired we still tired so that's why I said right now I'm having fun I'm having fun traveling this is what I love to do I'm thankful I have the money to travel where I want to be be in different places and uh I can afford my flight lessons that I'm very thankful because I get to do things that I would never imagine I could do because being a pilot is very expensive. That costs about 10 to 14 grand just for a private alone, you know? It's expensive, very elite. And I have to have money for that. And that's something that I'm determined to do. So when people tell me, okay, when are you gonna get back to your RN? You know, there was somebody that asked me, you know, you could go get your RN, you could be in California making 70 to 100,000. I don't wanna stay in California. California costs too much. Like I said, those taxes alone, even with just going exempt, ate me alive okay they have to pay me money for me to go do that i understand there's money to be made everywhere as a rn but you have to factor this once i get that rn i have to do one more year of experience they like to throw that lpn experience out the window and let me tell you if i ever go back to the hospital and work for a floor as a rn and they do not utilize my lpn experience whatsoever i will not be working for that hospital Because your values tells me a lot about y'all in general. You do not see LPN as nurses. That is okay with me. I will go to somebody that see us as nurses. No, I will not go to no medical surgical floor to go work for y'all on that floor because I know how bad it is. Like, I literally only know one hospital that values LPNs, like one one or two, you know? The rest of them, they just don't, they don't see you as nurses. And you know, like I said, I'm content. I'm happy where I'm at. I see myself as a nurse. I took that NCLEX. I passed on the first try, you know, and I'm proud of myself for where I've gotten. But still, y'all, I'm trying to pick up the pieces from 2019, December 2019. That was rough. And I'm not going through that again. I'm not going to school Monday through Friday. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to go to a program like that. I can do online or maybe hybrid and go like you know once a month or like go somewhere if it's like online at a different state i don't mind flying to go do the clinicals and whatnot if y'all know any schools like that i will be happy to go looking for it but if they're not willing to give scholarships or help me out with my school and i gotta pay this stuff in cash my my journey will be a little longer than y'all's journey because i'm not willing to get into debt like you are okay that it's gonna cost me 20 to thirty thousand for most of these schools to do that I'm not doing that. For my LPN, it only cost me a little over $3,000 for financial-wise. I didn't get fast for none of that stuff. So if the school is willing to help me pay for that, books, scrubs, time, I'll go back. But right now, the money is now. It's here, okay? The money is here. Why would I miss out on that and the PPP loan fraud right now? for school i just can't do it y'all i just i really can't i hope y'all understand when y'all say that type of stuff to people like not just me i'm i'm strong when i hear that type of stuff i'm very strong but other people might take it the wrong way because that way you might make them feel like they have to rush and do this i don't have to rush anymore that's not my ministry anymore money is not the issue that's why i told y'all on my video before if money is the issue and you know it and you need it now just get your lpn
Because in my opinion, the LPN is way easier to do than the RN. Okay? Just get your LPN, go make your money, then go back. Because that might be just your ministry. That is might be your sole purpose is to go be your RN. But that might not be everybody else's. Okay? I understand. Nursing has placed this hierarchy upon us. CNA, LPN, RN, BSN. To clash against each other. And make ourselves seem like we're better than other people. And I don't feel like I'm better than anybody. Okay? I, I, I treat the housekeeper with the same respect as anybody else. Okay? I don't mind doing the CNA work. I don't mind doing the housekeeping work because I used to do it all the time. But, like, when y'all say stuff like that, just realize that you can be very discouraging to other people. Yes, this is a tough field, and you got to toughen up and everything like that. But, like, sometimes it's just not somebody's sole purpose right now. And my journey might just be a little bit longer than everybody. So, eventually, yeah, I might just go get my RN, but... If these schools say like they they say that it is a um, a shortage of nurses right now and you need people, pay for it. That is just that is the simple solution right now. Just go pay for it. And if you can't do that and you're not willing to help somebody who has the credentials, who has the GPA, then stay right there. Just stay right there because I have a feeling that they really just want nurses to suffer. And the nursing field will just be a dying field, okay? It just will be a dying field. I feel bad for residents, patients, because we you're living in the age where nursing, there is a mass exodus of nurses right now. And if they don't get it together, people will just, they will eventually just go to different professions in me. So I'm taking my time. I'm not rushing anymore. It's just not my ministry. Thank you guys for watching.